This is the Digital Savage Experience Podcast, hosted by Roman Prokopchuk, bringing you all things digital marketing, tech, business, and motivation. What's stopping you from becoming relentless in all aspects of life? Are you ready to become a digital savage? Let's get into today's episode. Hey everyone, this is Roman Prokopchuk, and this is the Digital Savage Experience. Episode 55, Professionally Trained versus Self-Taught. So the argument can be made on both sides that which is better, you know, which is smarter, which gets the most done, which has the best and most straightforward career path. But I'm going to speak for personal experience. So in 2007, 2008, I graduated Rutgers University the degree in criminal justice. At that time, the economy basically tanked. So it was the mini recession, whatever you want to call it. There was no jobs, especially in the state, local, and federal governments. So basically, I sat around applying, looking for jobs. And I could have kept sitting around, but had a passion for going to the gym just to keep sane. So when I kept going to the gym, I met a friend there that had a business that saw I needed a job and said, hey, do you know SEO, search engine optimization? I said, no, what's that? He gave me a packet, said, read this, read some other stuff, take two months to learn this and basically do marketing for us for my financial services firm. So with nothing to lose, I basically jump on that learned as much as I could by myself. And in two months, I basically had a job working for someone. Nobody showed me, nobody co-signed, I didn't have a mentor. I didn't have all these other things in terms of a rich mommy or daddy. I didn't have anything. I just did it. So moral of the story, you can basically learn anything and, you know, take it wherever you want to take it. So at that point, I worked there for a few months and then picked up by a company called LexisNexis was there for almost four years and after those four years basically jumped around from different agencies from basically different director roles and then eventually founding my own consultancy agency whatever you want to call it helping businesses in terms of small medium large all over the united states with their digital marketing needs um basically in charge of digital marketing for a company called Qubit as well, which is a remote role. They focus on business solutions in terms of analytics for large enterprise clients all over the world. But I've been doing digital marketing at this point for 10 or 11 years. And in those 10 and 11 years, I've had to stay up late, night after night, learning, testing, modifying, perfecting, strategy, working in basically nurturing clients, hand-holding, and anything I could do to become successful. So in terms of being self-taught and self-made, I got all the certifications myself, but in terms of if I'm hiring someone or if I'm looking at someone or in previous director roles when I was hiring, any piece of paper really didn't matter to me, or at least in my line of work. You had to know real world examples. You had to have some kind of case studies in terms of what you did for measurement and success in the past and basically show a hunger. Knowledge is all well and good. You can be the smartest person, but achieve nothing with that knowledge if you don't have hunger and the hustle to do so. So honestly, if somebody's willing to learn and is hungry and is passionate, but doesn't have as much knowledge or formal training as somebody else, I would choose that person over a book smart person or someone that's had a professional education any day of the week. That professional education person may have just chosen that major, may have been forced by their parents to choose that major. With something like digital marketing, I'm only speaking for the digital marketing field. I understand there's things you need to go to college for and get professional training. But for digital marketing, the curriculum is so fast paced and changing every year that there's no formal 
basically textbook or a syllabus per se to follow. So if you're doing something in social via paid social or organic social, a platform may be totally reinvented in the following year and your curriculum kind of crashed because you have to keep updating, keep updating. And I've seen a lot of programs fail to keep updating and just keep the curriculum and the information just super broad and don't really benefit the students. So in terms of myself being self-taught, it's opened a lot of doors. I've represented myself well in terms of a hunger and passion for digital marketing and the willingness, willingness to help other people and teach other people. So, you know, I think self-taught people, not all, but some, are hungrier than professionally trained, um, basically have a better drive, if you will. I mean, I'm just speaking for myself. Obviously, I'm not comparing other industries or other people, but what I've seen going to conferences, going to meetups, um, speaking at different things, the people that are passionate about it seem to be doing it and learning it themselves. If you learn something yourself or stay with it, I mean, it shows that you are interested in the subject and you're passionate about it. Digital marketing, like I said, changes sometimes week to week in certain things. So you really have to be passionate about it. And it's not like hammering a nail. There's only one way to do it. There's several techniques to do certain things within the digital space to achieve success. And several things change in terms of algorithm updates to search engines, different paid options in terms of targeting. So everything keeps changing. You have to keep redefining yourself, adding to new skills, and basically be a Teflon Don and have everything bounce off you because you have to keep learning to stay ahead and just keep moving forward. So being self-taught, you're reading more. I believe you're consuming more because being self-taught, you're, you're most likely than not in a pressure situation. that You need to do it. You're doing it because of a passion. You're most likely not as well retaining more of the information and keeping it. So things that I learn, I, I feel like I remember better and I apply better because I'm passionate about it. Some people that just, you know, took a major that they may have not wanted or they took it and they did want. They're in a formal class setting with a lot of professors that don't have any kind of real world experience or just there in academia and just doing their own thing in the bubble. And there's no real world concepts or experience followed by that. So I try to be in the trenches and be a practitioner and not a generalist. I feel like a lot of professionally trained people within digital marketing are generalists. That's all well and good. I'm not going to knock anybody or, you know, their will to make money. But in terms of my hunger and my passion for marketing and digital marketing, helping people, helping businesses, I think the self-taught aspect way trumps anybody that's professionally trained. And I think if I was professionally trained in digital marketing, I may or may not have had this drive or this ambition to be this successful. I mean, I'm not saying I'm not necessarily 100% where I want to be in terms of career and my knowledge. It's mainly knowledge. Obviously, anyone can't achieve, you know, 100%, you know, knowledge of everything, especially knowledge within a specific field. Because like I said, with digital marketing, everything's ever changing. So keeping on top of it and having the important things, testing yourself, if you test yourself, obviously, people learn differently. But being in the trenches, having websites to work on having campaigns to work on, and basically moving forward in that sense and looking and achieving results, you're better off than somebody coming with a degree. If you have results, you've been in the trenches, you've taught things, basically how to do things yourself, that that's chosen in 2019 over somebody with a degree. I mean, everybody has degrees, but those degrees may not be tested in real world situations with clients that are complaining, campaigns that are going wrong, rankings that are dropping so just be mindful of that and even if you are professionally trained i would encourage you to keep learning and keep redefining yourself because that degree shouldn't limit you and i know a lot of people that have went to college and don't even use their degrees my degree is criminal justice 
I've had internships within, you know, the Secret Service, maintained top secret clearances, all cool experiences that have molded me and added to, you know, my worldview and how I perceive things. But in terms of digital, I love helping people. I love driving traffic and leads to businesses and seeing companies succeed through online marketing. So until next time, guys, if anyone wants to be a guest on the show, feel free to reach out, feel free to throw topics out, go on uh, iTunes and leave a review if you liked it. Keep listening. I really appreciate everybody's support and patience and have a good one. Take care, guys. This podcast has been brought to you by Nova Zora Digital. Find out how Nova Zora Digital can help your company grow online. Learn more at NovaZoraDigital.com. Until next time, all you digital savages.